Hello Libra, welcome to your reading for the month of January. We're going to hop right into it, grab a couple cards here. We're going to get three cards. No particular theme this month, Libra. Just looking at our January and seeing what's going on. You could be going on an adventure of some kind, Libra. Page of Wands, I mean, you may... <laughs> I'm hearing that those lyrics, um, Carolina in my mind, uh, James Taylor, I think, Carolina in my mind. So you could be even like, quote unquote, traveling in your mind. Maybe you're doing some like astral travel here, Libra. Oh my God, look, here you are. With the justice card and the page of wands and the eight of cups. You could be you could be emotionally detaching from something and making plans with the two of wands on a future endeavor of some kind with the high priestess. Let let's see. You you could be leaving something toxic as well or something that's over. Ten of Swords and the Devil. All right, let's get into the cards and see what this is about here. Regardless, you're, it's like you are, you're about to make a change in your life or your life is about to feel like it's changed. And that's what this page of wands energy is here. It's, it's more of like a feeling of this new passion, right? And since this is you right behind it, I know it's you. I know you're going to feel that. Um, and it could just be that because you're, you're you, you could just be feeling maybe I'm hearing the word alleviated from some sort of like toxic past thing. And maybe now you're like, all right, I'm ready now. Yeah, I'm hearing that. I'm ready now. I'm ready now. Maybe before you weren't ready for something, but now you are. Card number one is the ace of swords. Definitely true for somebody what I just said. But aside from that, the Ace of Swords is a card of clarity. It's it's with this Page of Wands energy that I'm getting here, Libra. It's like you're finally ready to, I don't know if it's to see some sort of a truth in your life or if it's just a matter of like timing is, is what I'm getting off of this Ace of um, Swords for some reason. I almost said Ace of Wands. Maybe you've been waiting to feel inspired, but maybe inspiration is not what you needed. Maybe you needed truth. Maybe you needed, even like I'm seeing an outside source, I'm hearing to give you permission to do something. Maybe you have, have dealt with that in the past, those thoughts of like, I want somebody to give me permission to be who I am. And I feel like part of the thing that we're seeing here with you, Libra, with this justice energy, is you're starting to see permission. I don't need permission to be who I am. I'm seeing this Ace of Swords today as identity. Like, you know how people say, Libra, like, this is my truth. It's it's more than that, though. It's not like you're just like, oh, this is who I am. It's This is like you're seeing this. This is not about anybody else. Like, And you may talk about this because Ace of Swords can be communication. You may write about it. You may, you may explain your journey. But I'm seeing this as kind of a hidden thing for now. I'm seeing it's like your understanding that you don't need anyone to tell you who you are. This is a self-concept thing. I said something similar to Gemini. I used the same words, self-concept. Maybe air signs are just coming into a time of, of, their, of yourselves. You know, I feel like this is an air sign message across the board, but it's different for you, Libra. It's different from what, what Gemini, <clears throat> excuse me, throat chakra different than an ace of swords speaking different than what gemini got for you this is more you feeling empowered to just live as you are to be who you are you are this justice card and the, the um page of wands can be a card of like just going out there you know it's it's like just being yourself you know not thinking about what other people are going to say about it or think about it. 
I'm seeing that as your energy, Libra. Like, the overall energy of this reading, to me, this has to do with self-concept, with self-identity. It's like, and it's a revelation of sorts that you're gaining or that you have gained. Maybe it's it's a recent thing. We do have the devil and the ten of swords here with the high priestess. You could have seen or understood something i'm seeing the high priestess today in this reading as shadow work you could have been doing some heavy shadow work five 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 on the time right now heavy change you'd have to change after something like this libra my god um you could have gone through some sort of really challenging ending or you put something to an end here maybe you stopped doing something toxic or you're like I'm done. Maybe it's what we talked about at the start, Libra, and you tell me in the comments. It could have something to do with you realizing, what do I mean get permission to just be myself? It could have be that, be that you felt bound. Maybe you were struggling with codependency of some kind or God forbid, some sort of narcissistic abuse or something like that, Libra, where you felt like you couldn't be yourself. It was not an option to be yourself. What I'm seeing here is that with the devil, it's like you may have felt chained to having to present yourself a certain way so that it would keep the peace. But what I'm seeing is no more with the Ten of Swords. It's like you're saying, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I think you went down into the underworld with Persephone here and you... You understood something about yourself. Maybe maybe you have had some sort of revelations about who you really are, Libra. Right? Card number two for Libra is the Seven of Cups. I, this is that, that high priestess energy that I was picking up on. This is a very dreamy energy. You could even be having dreams, Libra. Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups. You may be receiving messages, communication in your dreams. Or it may be a dream state, a trance-like state. Maybe you're going into meditation. Maybe you're listening, Ace of Swords, to guided meditations or hypnosis. Seven of Cups can absolutely be hypnosis. And if you're not doing those things, this would be the advice. These are some practical things that we can do to help unearth our truths, the things that have been lying dormant inside or the things that were locked away, you know, in that old room that we, we forgot about years ago because we got so tired of trying to just have to fight all the time for who it is we are. It's like Spirit is saying, dust off those old boxes, dust off those old photographs, dust off that that old persona, Libra, because that person is, is still here, the person you've always been. And it's like I'm seeing you emerging. Um, and this, this could come from some subconscious work that you've been doing with that High Priestess Seven of Cups shadow work, uh, meditations, trances, dreams, working with your guides, you know, spiritual stuff, right, Libra? Card number three is the Eight of Swords. That's what's going to untie you, Libra, right? I, I'm seeing you untying yourself in certain aspects in the month of January. If you continue to zone in on even why you've been stuck, and a clue could be, like we talked about, where maybe you felt like you couldn't live your truth for one reason or another, and it's like you're starting to see, well, of course I can. Eight of Swords is a card of self-imposed restriction, Meaning we have the choice to leave or not. You're not actually stuck. It's all in our minds. So that could be part of the thing you're understanding too, Libra, is that that was all in my mind. I was always free. I love you, Libra. If you'd like to get your extended, it's linked up in the top of the comments. We'd love to have you over on Patreon. Until next time, Libra, you take care. Have a great January.